What's up everyone, it's Hash. Well, it turns out that Gibson Guitars has entered a joint venture with none other than Gene Simmons from a band called Kiss from the 1900s. Now, this brand is going to be called G Square and it stands for from Gene to Gibson. And this brand will be making electric basses as well as electric guitars manufactured by the Gibson brand. Now, one of the prototypes has already been released. It's called the G Square Thunderbird. And I think this looks pretty cool. When it comes to imagery, Gene Simmons is a pioneer. His image has inspired many rock and metal musicians to come up with similar imagery for themselves. His first custom signature series was called the Axe. It was manufactured by BC Rich Guitars. After that, he found a company in South Korea to manufacture these. And he also has a signature series called The Punisher. Now, Gene Simmons has not been shy about his love of making money. Things such as Kiss coffins, pinball machines, condoms, and other things that have nothing to do with music have had the name and logo of Kiss on them simply as a way for Kiss and Gene Simmons to make money. Now, Gibson Guitars hit some trouble times back in 2018. They actually had to file for bankruptcy due to failing at their attempt to create a lifestyle brand. Now, Gibson Guitars felt that kids nowadays were no longer purchasing stringed instruments like they used to. Instead, they were more focused on electronic music, DJing, so therefore Gibson Guitars entered the electronics, speakers, DJing, and other non-guitar related markets to be able to create a lifestyle brand. However, that did not work out well for them and the company got into so much debt to where they had to file bankruptcy in 2018, $500 million to be exact. So since that bankruptcy, the company has focused more on their core products, which are stringed instruments. Gibson also acquired Mesa Boogie amplifiers last week. So Mesa Boogie used to be a repair shop for amps, but then they pioneered the first high powered gain guitar amp. And as a result, they came out with the 1991 dual rectifier amp, which has been a staple for a lot of American metal bands. And now they have this joint venture with Gene Simmons. I've never owned a signature instrument myself. When I was a kid, there used to be this Dave Mustaine signature Flying V guitar that I really wanted. I thought that if I bought this guitar, I would sound just like Dave Mustaine, just like he sounds on his albums, but I couldn't afford it. So what do you guys think? Do you think that this partnership is more about Gibson being able to sell more guitars and Gene Simmons being able to capitalize on his name and his brand name? Or is it more about artistic creativity and getting the younger generation more involved with guitars and bass guitars. Would you purchase a bass guitar or electric guitar because it has Gene Simmons name on it or because the company that manufactures it is partly owned by Gene Simmons? Would that influence your decision at all? Are you more likely or less likely to buy an instrument because it has Gene Simmons involvement in it? Anyways, that's all I have for this video. I will catch you guys next time. Take care.